In this series of videos, we've been working through an example of a bank reconciliation. In our first video, we introduced the idea of bank reconciliations. In the second video, we worked through the first half of this uh, bank rec. And in the last video, we've worked through the second half of the bank rec. Now we've got to do our final step. And our final step is a little bit of cleanup. We have said, here's the balance according to the bank, and here's all the stuff the bank's missing. Well, that stuff on the left, the bank's going to catch eventually when the deposit goes into the account and when the outstanding check's clear. The stuff on the right, however, is stuff that we're missing, and anything we're missing will need to be fixed. So we're going to fix these one, two, three, four, five, six seven items we're out because of these seven separate items these items will need fixing how do we fix things as an accountant well i've got some bad news and good news the bad news is we've got to do journal entries and i know as when you're learning accounting journal entries aren't always the easiest thing the good news is these are some of the more straightforward journal entries we'll ever do in accounting. And the reason they're more straightforward than most is because they all involve the same account. So a lot of our challenge in doing a journal entry is figuring out what to debit and what should I credit. Well, these are all journal entries related to the bank reconciliation. So it should come as no surprise that journal entries related to the bank reconciliation are all going to involve cash. So in fact, let's get to our journal entries. Let me number them off down here. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, and seven. So we'll fill in our journal entries here. And of course, debits will be on the left and credits on the right as per usual. Okay, so as I go back up to my entries, I say to myself, well, they all involve cash. So let's actually do half of our journal entry without even thinking. That's how easy, I, I hesitate to use the word easy. That's how straightforward these entries are, though. You can do half of it without even giving it any thought. So NSF check 600, actually, I'm going to ignore that. I'm not even going to look at what's on the left. I'm just going to look at the right. Uh, minus $600 from cash. Okay, so how do I minus $600 from cash? Well, of course, I credit cash $600. I don't know what to debit yet. I'm not going to worry about it. Next one, cash goes up by $4,300. Well, debit cash $4,300. Next one, cash goes down by $300. Credit cash 300 uh, journal entry number four cash goes down by a hundred okay so we credit cash by a hundred next one cash is going uh, down by five dollars so credit cash by five dollars next one cash is going up by one dollar debit cash by $1. And the last one, cash is going up by $18. So let's debit cash $18. Okay, so we haven't given really a heck of a lot of thought here. And we've got our journal entries kind of half completed. I mean, this is very ugly. Um, but we're going to complete our journal entries. And you'll see, uh, we'll do it without too much stress here. So the first one, NSF check W white. If we go back to the uh, problem, you'll see that somebody bounced a check to us. Somebody wrote us a check and they had not sufficient funds, non-sufficient funds. So uh, I always say to my students, what would you do in this situation? If you were uh, the bookkeeper for the company, uh, you saw the bank statement, you saw, oh, W white, they wrote us a check and they bounced the check. Well, here's what I'd do and I think here's what pretty much anyone would do. You'd get on the phone, you'd call W. White, and what would you say to W. White? You'd say, W. White, you wrote me a check for 600 bucks, it bounced, you owe me money. Well, what is it when a customer owes us money? It is an account receivable. So for W. White, we're going to reinstate his AR for 600 bucks. So debit AR for W White for $600.
The second one, bank collection of a note receivable. And there's a little note about that in the question. It says the bank collection uh, included principal of 4,000 and interest of 300. Okay, well, let's deal with the interest first. I'm gonna credit, if I, if I earned interest, it's interest revenue. for uh, 300 bucks. And the other part was principal of 4,000. I don't credit principal, I credit notes receivable to say, look, they're not receivable anymore. I've collected on my notes receivable. Journal entry number three, uh, utilities, my cash went down 300. So this is an auto payment of my utilities. Well, when I pay my utilities, it's an expense. It's a cost of doing business. Debit utilities expense 300 credit cash 300 next one was an EFT for telephone well same as utilities this is just a cost of doing business it's a telephone expense debit telephone expense for a hundred and we'll credit cash for a hundred journal entry number five a banking fee that's another cost of doing business we'll debit bank fee expense for five bucks and we'll credit cash for five bucks journal entry number six interest on account this is interest revenue right it's interest coming in it's good for us we credit interest revenue as we do all revenue accounts when we earn revenue for a dollar and the last but not least and perhaps the trickiest is this bookkeeper's error so let's go back up to the question and it says the correct amount of check 80 up Payment on account payable is 468. So what happened? We credited cash 486. We should have credited cash 468. We're off by 18 bucks. Well, what did I debit when that happened? Well, it was a payment of an account payable. So I would have debited accounts payable, credited cash. Now I screwed up my cash by 18 bucks. I needed to debit cash by 18 bucks to fix it. If I screwed up my cash by 18 bucks, I screwed up the other side of the entry. I screwed up the accounts payable. So I credit accounts payable for $18. At this point, I've done good journal entries. My cash account will now be updated. And my cash account, after I do all these journal entries, my cash account, according to my books, is just going to be $17,933. And that's exactly where it needs to be. That's all for this series of videos on bank reconciliations. Stay tuned for the next series.